Hello everybody, it's Nonskiller, and today I'm just going to show you guys optimization. I'll be checking some avatar worlds first, so you guys have an understanding of what we're actually going to be looking at when it comes to optimizing your avatar for VR chat. So I went around and found an avatar, and what you're noticing is mostly this one has a lot of materials and dynamic bones. It's not a huge deal, but it's something that could probably be cleaned up just a bit. So the next avatar we're seeing has very high dynamic bones, about 74, but that's probably because maybe they forgot to put exclusions so they could decrease the amount, but who knows. So the next one is a medium performance based avatar. This one's not that bad. It still has dynamic bones. It won't lag as much, but overall you're noticing that most avatar worlds will have a range of very poor to good. So I'm just going to search for a Knuckles world. We'll just choose this one down here. So what we're going to be seeing mostly is that a majority of these Knuckles are good performance. The more, the more complicated they are, the more poor quality of performance they will be, like these ones for example. Now going to a, a Uganda world with, you know, with the Uganda Knuckles, it's going to be excellent. Perfect quality. Okay, so when it comes to these anime girl avatars, they're very poor. And that's probably because of the high polygon rate. They, they probably cheated it through to go above the limit. Now, here's the thing. They are very clean. The skin meshes and meshes. They have very high bones, however. But that's probably because... Just because. Now, when you look at the most basic avatar like this one, it's just a piece of paper with bones on it. Very excellent performance rate. The information may not be accurate of this time or not at all, but this is something you need to look at when it comes to optimization. So here's just an example of optimization and what it looks like. And here's another example right here. So this one has very high materials. Here's another example of very high materials as well, and which is causing it to be very low performance. As you're noticing that the majority doesn't dictate what makes performance. This is a medium performance. This one's also a medium performance, regardless if there's a lot of areas that is excellent. Again, same concept, but this is a good performance one. So what we have here is two textures. We're going to fuse them together to make one texture. And then you'll have something like this where it is a bit more optimized. However, when it comes to resizing textures as one item, it becomes complicated. Okay, so I'm just going to show you an example of what exactly you need to do when it comes to like creating UVs, right? So I'm using this as an example. So let's say I just wanted to put this image on. Now what's weird is the fact that when you do a crop like this, it, it shrinks and also squishes the, the shape. This ends up being like pretty accurate on what you need to do. But the upside is not only will it be cleaner when it comes to the mesh, but you could also just select each individual piece and resize them. But my goal right now is just to figure out the right size for each object. It's a bit sloppy, but it's a price that must be paid. Someone could do, I'm not, I'm not good at UV fixing and all that. See how the bottom here is a bit messed up? It's a bit stretched, but it's all right. When you have cut objects like this, you aren't able to actually find your uh, UV. So we're going to have to re-import it. Okay, so when you clean it out like this, you'll be able to get a full body. The reason why I had to redo this part because I technically forgot to do one little thing. Now that I finally have this, I can show you guys what exactly I'm trying to do. Basically, I could go back to this here and I could resize it all. We couldn't do it with the other form because of the fact that it literally was not actually working for me. And cool. So a majority of everything has been cleaned up. Now with that, I could actually start working on this guy. Or 
Okay, so basically, this is how you pr pretty much optimize. It's recommended to only have one skin mesh. However, you could have two. If you get two, you're going to have to have like a good optimization. If you only have one and you do everything correctly, like for example, everything is one material, one skin mesh, it's under 32K, it's going to be excellent. Let me just fix this up and then I will see if I'm able to actually make this a, a proper build. Okay, I'm going to test this before anything because I have to make sure that we are able to merge items together as one. Since it's a knuckles, I don't have to worry too much about putting more bones on there just to have it less tendency for me. What happened here was the meshes got messed up. That's what I thought would happen. Also, the legs aren't even correct. Okay, so basically I kind of fixed it up a little. All I did was if anyone was using this, all you had to do is go to combine. Merged by UV link and that and then you don't have errors since we're here now I'm going to show you guys um, what exactly I'm looking at all right all right before we even start um, You should always have your ball from the avatar Descriptor in between the eyes or some people like putting in front of the nose I guess but in between the eyes is a lot better because if we put it in front of the nose You know now with that in mind. I'm going to show you the reason why we're doing this. Okay, is to show you guys meshes that's a star. That's two renders because of the helmet. That's why I separated the helmet and all that. So the bones is 67. So we can turn this into a very high quality model. When I say high quality, I mean a very optimized 3D model. We could have just fused the helmet together too, but if you want to have the helmet separate and just connect it, that you could do that. Now, now what you'll see is you have the perfect knuckles. Okay, he's excellent. Everything is star platinum. Okay, guys. And then from there, you just click on the publish button and you let the magic come in. The goal of this tutorial was to show you guys how to make an optimized texture, optimized avatar, etc., etc. It wasn't so much. Now, you guys may have a different method, but I'm just showing you. You pretty much have to be a clean guy or gal just to get into the excellent performance. Usually all my knuckles are about in the range of good to medium. Eventually they're all going to become medium to, I mean not medium, they're all going to become good to excellent. But overall, the biggest issues are, in fact, skinned mesh renderers and a unique material. Now you'll also have dynamic bones, that might be an issue as well, but most likely these two victims, the unique materials and the skin mesh renderers are the ones that are things that people don't really touch into. And made polygons as well, but mostly it's these two. Yeah, so as I was saying, and then yeah, so pretty much now you just make your uh, your guy right there. Cool. Obviously, if you want to make a very fancy one, you just download the post processing behavior and then you modify it a little bit, right? But anyway, we'll just upload them. Just to close, optimization perfectly balanced as all things should be. If you made it this far in the video, I commend you. However, this is the end of the video. Hopefully you learned about optimization and all that good stuff. I, I don't talk a lot, so it's very uncomfortable for me to actually speak. Anyway, this was a good video. Uh, like, subscribe, share the video, I guess. Um, if you still have any questions, comment below, I guess. Yeah. Oh, we're, feels we're bad, friends. Man. We're best friends. Feels bad, man. Yes. Oh, no. He's my pork buddy. Oh, man. <clears throat> my my first buddy, Jace. Hey, nice light trackers, bro. <laughs> so I'm how are you uh, enjoying the uh... the ver? Mm, yeah, so... the ver life. Uh, it's oh. freaking great. I've now made a ver friendly port, kind of. What is that? An abomination. Oh. Come here. What the fuck, yo? Oh god, is that actually this coming from your light, light, or is that actually on the ground? Mismooth that gay shit. Ah, oh, you're on the ground, huh? What a mark is on the image. Oh my God. <laughs> we found, oh my God. we found a mess up. <laughs> they couldn't take out a watermark.